Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Friday afternoon. My name is Mark Hundley, and this is Live at Five. And I appreciate you stopping by uh, at your time to join me either live today at five or later, whatever that may be. I know it's a Friday afternoon, and gosh, uh, weather is, is better. It's warmer. It's prettier, perhaps, where you are. And I know you're wanting to get out, or maybe you are out, and you're saying, oh, I'm just going to leave that bald-headed cowboy alone. don't want to talk to him today. Uh, and that's fine. I hope that you're enjoying yourself wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I want you to be there and have fun and be a part of, of uh, making life uh, interesting and, and fun for yourself. But this is Live at Five for a Friday. We're at the end of another week, another week, and the, the last Friday of a month. Uh, Monday starts the month of June, a very special month, and I'll talk to you about that later on, perhaps next week. But uh, we're near the, the end of of uh, the spring, at the, near the beginning of the actual summer, and lots of things are taking place. Um, you know, people are slowly, some, some people aren't slowly crawling out of their holes. Some people are bursting forth out of their holes and running rapidly out of their holes of, of, uh, of lockdown. Uh, some people are, are adventuring out slowly, periodically. Some are, are peeking out from under the covers or out through the back door to see if it looks safe, smells safe, appears safe before they get out. Uh, some are just hunkering down and staying there. And there are all kinds of reasons for this. Um, this. This isolation has affected us in all kinds of ways, economically, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Uh, it's, it, it's affected us educationally. There are so many things that, that this pandemic has created uh, for us to, to, cha to challenge us and, hand and to handle. And, and most of us are doing a really good job. We really, really are. We're working at it. So for some, it's, it's more difficult than others and for all kinds of reasons. Um, I, think, I think today I want to end on the idea that we need each other. We just simply need each other. We do a lot of things on our own. I know that for the most part, unless we're unable to, uh, most of us can, can brush our teeth and feed ourselves and dress ourselves and groom ourselves. We can drive our cars and walk down the street and and get mail from the mailbox. We can turn on the television. There are lots of things we can do alone, but sometimes there are things that require more than the alone part and doing it by myself. You see, the Hopi people have a, a wonderful little uh, simple proverb that points to the need for a C word, and that C word is collaboration. Collaboration. Their proverb says this, one finger cannot lift a pebble. Wow, Mark, that's really profound. But there is some profundity to this. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? The meaning is obvious. The application is clear. And yet, the practice is often ignored. How many times, and just think about this, how many times do you or I attempt something alone that requires more than one person? I know I've been guilty of that, thinking I can pick up a box or a chair because I'm strong, I'm, I'm a guy, I can do this by myself. And I wind up dropping something and breaking it or, or punching a, a hole in the wall with the leg of a chair that I didn't intend to or, or breaking the leg of a chair, uh, breaking a mirror, um, dropping something that was to be used uh, in, in a, a, a sweet confection and I've dropped it on the floor. Sometimes I, I get wrapped up in doing things on my own when really I needed some help. Uh, my guess is that that doing these things on our own, we do it many more times than we care to admit. And I wonder what makes us do this. Well, what causes us to close our eyes to the reality that it takes, uh, that one finger cannot lift a pebble? What causes us to do this? Um, my guess is that, that more than anything, it has to do with pride. Now, fear and concern and anxiety, um, those kinds of things play, play a part in it too. But more often than not, I think pride is the culprit. Pride. My, my, my. How often does pride get us in trouble? Isn't there a little saying that says pride goeth before the fall? One finger cannot lift a pebble. Period. Unless one uses glue or double-sided sticky tape or some other sticky substance, the pebble remains on the ground. The finger needs the assistance of at least the, the opposable thumb or one of the other fingers to be lifted off the ground. Even the smallest, lightest pebble cannot be lifted off the ground by a single finger. It needs help. 
All we have to do is remember this lesson every day we live. We need each other's uh, help. We individually need others to help us accomplish our goals. And others around us need us to help, us help them accomplish their goals. The problem lies not in the ability of the finger and the thumb or the other fingers to work together, but in the times that the two refuse to work together. I know that fingers and thumbs tend to, to react to our impulses and our directions, but I'm really talking about a larger uh, issue here. When we as individuals choose to avoid working together, that becomes problematic, and even the smallest problem that could be handled together becomes an impossible task. Um, the message is clear. Its message is simple. We need each other to work and live and love and compete and complete and create, period. We need each other. So remember the Hopi said, one finger cannot lift a pebble. You need someone else to help you in your life, as do I. I hope you have a great evening on this Friday. I hope you have a great and restful weekend. Get out and enjoy the sun if you have sun around you. Uh, get some fresh air. Uh, breathe in some optimism and some hope. Let's move forward through these uncertain times, and the times are still uncertain. The only certainty about the times in which we live is that they're uncertain. So as we move through this uncertainty together, always remember that we need each other, we have each other to work through and move through this process. You have a great, great weekend. I hope to see you on Monday for Live at 5 or later. Take care. Peace.